So today in Geek Field Notes, we're going to be talking about USB 3.0 Wi-Fi interference and how this is in fact a real thing. So friend of the show, Lewis Rossman, did a video recently talking about the new MacBook Pros and showing how he plugged in a USB device that it interfered with his connection to the internet. So I decided to do a little bit of research and I went, hmm, is this really simply a MacBook Pro problem or could there be something more to this? And after doing a bit of Google searching, I actually came to this Intel website. So this is an Intel white paper talking about how Intel, Intel knows that there is a USB 3.0 radio frequency interference impact on 2.4 gigahertz wireless devices. And the reason I'm talking about this today is this actually can be more significant than simply the MacBook Pro issue. So if you go down, you scroll through this particular document, it gives you a lot of things. So it's about a 22 page uh, document. And you go through, you can read um, all of the, the, the different information about the uh, USB 3.0 interference. Basically, the idea here is with this paper, it's the purpose of this document is to create an awareness of radio frequency interference to USB or to wireless devices operating the 2.4 gigahertz ISM band as a result of certain USB 3.0 devices and cables. Now, why this is important is, again, I, until Lewis Rossman brought up the whole idea of the Wi-Fi issue with the MacBook Pro, I would have never thought about USB um, issues with Wi-Fi. would never have thought of plugging in a hard drive or plugging in a different a USB 3.0 device and, and thinking that that might have any kinds of, of problems or ramifications as far as Wi-Fi is concerned. And so the important thing to realize here is that, in fact, you might be having issues with your wireless connections um, due to Due to uh, due to the 3.0 the, the USB 3.0, so it goes down and talks about it. The 2.4 gigahertz ISM band is widely used unlicensed radio frequency band for devices such as wireless routers as well as wireless PC peripherals such as a mouse or keyboard. These devices may use standard protocols such as IE IEEE 802.11 BGN or Bluetooth, or they may use proprietary protocols. The radios may use frequency hopping, frequency agility, or may operate on a fixed frequency. Well, why this is important is because talking about the USB 3.0 interference issues, you may be thinking that this is just a Wi-Fi issue. This is simply an issue that relates to if you're trying to get out to the web or if you're trying to send an email. What this shows is with USB 3.0, you may have issues with your wireless mouse. You have, may have issues with your wireless keyboard. You may have issues with your Bluetooth speakers or any uh, of those kind of devices. So this isn't necessarily a USB 3.0 Wi-Fi issue. It may uh, may relate to other things. So if you go through here, they, they give you a lot of a nice little graphs and that kind of stuff to, to give you the, the super engineering specification of what's going on. Um, I will say, I won't bore you with this, but to be honest with you, some of it's a little <laughs> a little bit of a head scratcher. You're like, eh, I think I know what that means. I think I know what it means. But if you want the, the deep down stuff, you can go through and you can take a look at all this information here. Um, now, what's interesting, uh, if you keep going down, um, let's see here. We go and they talk about um, how far, like, with the USB 3.0 connection, uh, that they're having an issue with a mouse. So it shows a response of a response of mouse A in the presence of a USB 3.0 device. USB 3.0 hard drive not connected. Mouse response at two feet is okay. Response at three feet is okay. Response at five feet is okay. But they show simply having the USB 3.0 hard drive connected. Uh, at response at two feet is still okay. But response at three feet is lagging. Response at five feet is lagging. Then USB 3.0 hard drive connected and writing data to it. Two feet is still okay. Lagging at three feet, lagging at five feet. So simply having a USB 3.0 hard drive connected um, uh, means that you may have issues, again, like I say, with your wireless mouse, with your wireless keyboard, other devices. The interesting thing with this, if uh, you go through, there's, there's one area in here that was saying the radio frequency can emanate uh, from different areas of the USB 3.0 device. So it can emanate from the actual connection on the PC itself. It can emanate from the cable itself, or it can emanate from the connection on the device that you're using, the hard drive or whatever else. So basically, you may not know where the, the signal is coming from. Why that's important is you may think, well, a way to mitigate the problem is simply to move the uh, the USB 3.0 hard drive further away. So if I if I move the USB 3.0 hard drive six feet away, maybe that will solve the interference issue. But if the interference is coming from the, the from from the cable, or if the interference is coming from the the PC connection itself, that may not 
uh, necessarily solve the problem. So if you're thinking about this and you're looking at it and you're thinking, okay, well, that's nice, Eli. You've showed me a problem. What are the ways to mitigate the, the issues? Well, the first thing to realize is that basically if you're having any kind of Wi-Fi issues, that it may not be the Wi-Fi device itself. So with me, if I didn't know about this, I would think it's the Wi-Fi device itself or the, or the Windows drivers or something like that. So if you're having Wi-Fi issues, the first thing you may want to do is disconnect all of your USB devices connected to the computer and see if that solves your Wi-Fi issues. If that does solve your Wi-Fi issues, then you can think about ways to, to mitigate the problem, per, per, perhaps plugging in the USB 3.0 device in a different location on your PC. So if, you're, if you're a wireless adapter, or if you're a, your Wi-Fi adapter, or your Bluetooth adapter is on one side of the computer, simply plugging the USB 3.0 device on the other side of the computer, that may give enough protection, enough shielding, uh, so that it doesn't cause you any issues. You could try a longer cable. So it's per chance, the radio frequency is emanating from the device itself. So if you do use a 6-foot or a 10-foot USB cable, maybe that'll get that device uh, for far enough away from your computer that you that it won't cause any issues. Or, of course, you know what Best Buy likes to hear, what Newegg likes to hear, what all these companies like to hear, maybe your device just really sucks, uh, and so you have to replace it. So these are some of the things you may be thinking about if you're having Wi-Fi issues. The other thing to realize is that if you are in an office environment, especially these new open office environments where people are relatively close together. Remember here, I mean, it's showing mouse response at five feet. So up to five feet away that there's issues. So if you think about it, if you have a five foot radius from where people are, if one person is having a Wi-Fi issue, it may be because a USB 3.0 device on another computer is causing that issue. So again, you may want to be thinking about that uh, from, from an overall environment standpoint. If your laptop is having issues connecting to the Wi-Fi at this location, but it doesn't have a problem when you're 10 feet away, it may be somebody else's USB 3.0 hard drive that's causing the problem. Now, the important thing I want you to think about with this too is I know there's a lot of focus right now on the MacBook Pro because, of course, whenever Apple comes out with a net MacBook Pro, everybody is hyper-focused on the MacBook Pro. And you have the uh, the Apple fanboys that no matter what problem there is with a MacBook Pro, they're, they're not going to see it. No, 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 no. That's how it was designed. No, no, no. The MacBook Pro was designed so that you could not use USB 3.0 and Wi-Fi at the same time. You know, any any professional is not going to use 3.0 and uh, Wi-Fi at the same time. So you're going to have the Apple fanboys. Let's admit it. You're going to have the Apple fanboys that, that no matter what piece of garbage Apple comes out with, they're still going to they're, they're still going to think that it's somehow a feature function. Um, but you also do have a lot of haters. You do have a lot of people that dislike Apple that will hyper focus on the, these uh, these computers to find a problem, right? And so one thing to be thinking about is everybody is hyper focused on MacBook Pros. One question you have to ask yourself is, what are the chances that Acer, Asus, Dell, Toshiba, Lenovo, that there's a whole bunch of other laptops out there that have the same type of issues, it's just n n nobody cares. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Again, uh, if you're a content creator, we make money off of CPM. We make money off of people actually wanting to watch our videos. So when Apple comes out with a new product, we can make a lot of money by showing what problems there are with the product as soon as it comes out. What you got to ask yourself is if Lenovo comes out with a $600 laptop, is it worth anybody's time to, to poke it and prod it and see if there's any issues? Uh, no. So again, just because it's a MacBook, just because we see it in the MacBook Pro doesn't mean, again, Acer, Asus, Lenovo, Toshiba, Dell, HP, any of these other laptop manufacturers may not be having the same problem. So that's just what I want to show you today. These are the types of videos that you're going to be getting out of Geek Field Notes as I go through and I find inform interesting information that you may find valuable in the real world. Um, I will try to, uh, try to show it to you here. So this is USB 3.0 radio frequency interference impact on 2.4 gigahertz wireless devices. I will put the link in the description. And again, this is Intel. Intel is actually talking about this. So this isn't some kind of like random ass, random ass uh, person out there. So with that, as always, enjoy, I enjoyed taping this video. Look forward to seeing you at the next one.